The 2011 International Festival of Arts and Ideas is now in full swing. It's luring thousands of people into the New Haven area, and world-class performances are a big draw. Among them, don't miss the critically acclaimed comedy, The Cripple of Inishman, by Oscar winner Martin McDonough. It debuted off-Broadway three years ago and is now on tour across the country. And we're lucky the production is part of the Festival of Arts and Ideas. And joining us are cast members, Claire Dunn and Nancy Carroll. Welcome. It's great to have you. Thank, Thank you. you. So this, the tour is really part of Imagine Ireland, celebrating a year of Irish arts in America. And this is the final leg of the tour. Really, your last U.S. performance is here. Yeah, we've been on tour for six months across the United States and Ireland. So this is bringing a little bit of Irish uh, culture, ar Irish arts to America? Yeah, yeah, it's part of the big project, Imagine Ireland, and I think this is, uh, yeah, one of the major, major tours this year. Um, we've already met loads of people during the, during the whole process, including many Irish consuls. So it's really good for Ireland and really good for America. We have such a connection anyway. So Absolutely. Many Irish, uh, of course, we know the Irish immigrants who came over. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, everyone you meet, I mean, we went from Boston to Washington to, well, here, and Large there's Irish a lot of Irish. Yes, <laughs> including President Irish Obama, as we were talking. Yeah. President, right. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this fabulous play. Mm -hmm. They say it's wickedly mordant and irreverent comedy. Mm -hmm. That's how they describe it. Yeah. Martin McDonough is uh, very humorous, but very, it's very black comedy, very mm -hmm. uh, dark. You've got to be up for um, very honest people. <laughs> Honest to the point of being mean, and definitely I can say that about my character, I don't know, and probably Nancy's as well. Oh no, mine's not me at all. <laughs> well, the, the focus is Cripple Billy. Cripple mm -hmm. Billy, So let's yes. tell everybody what the plot is all about. Well, I don't want to give too much away, too but much. it's basically set on uh, the island of Inish Man, and um, it's set in the 1934, and it's when Robert Flaherty and a big film crew come over to make a documentary, let's say, in the verge of commerce, <laughs> um, about the people of Inish Man, and so they make this film called The Man of Iron, and essentially everybody, it's made on the island beside Inish Man, Inish Moor, so then everybody in our small community on Inish Man want to get over to Inish Moor to be part of this film. Um, especially so that's just, your uh, character. Especially my character <laughs> and especially Cripple Billy. Right. So, so the, let's talk about your characters. Uh -huh. Claire, you are Slippy Helen. Yeah. <laughs> and Nancy, you are Mammy O'Dougal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's talk about that. What, do, what are your characters like? Uh, well, my character is basically one of Billy's friends, you could say. Um, she's a similar age to Billy, so she's one of the, the young people on the island. She's yes. about 18. Uh, she works for the Eggman. I think that's why she's called Slippy. <laughs> and she mostly, <laughs> mostly, <laughs> drops, <laughs> mostly <laughs> drops the eggs. I say drops. She yes. throws them at people. She pegs eggs at people. That's what she does. So um, I think that's why she, why she has the nickname Slippy Hallett. She's very honest and a little bit brutal as a character. And um, Mammy? Uh, Mammy is um, uh, 90 years old, um, bedridden, and um, uh, drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, Go and my son has been trying to kill me for um, 60 years, but oh it's not goodness. working by... by um, Making her drink. Yes, yeah. but, but I'm doing just fine. You, you're just really tough, aren't you, Mary? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to outlive him. Now, you're American, though. I am one of the t two American actors on the tour, and then one of our, st our stage managers is also American. There are nine, uh, nine characters all together, right. so mm -hmm. everybody is from you, the UK? Um, well, it's a mixture. I mean, Derville and Dermot have been living in London since they were in their 20s, I think. Right. So, they, you know, so they, they are almost Irish stroke English. Yes. <laughs> and then the rest, most of us are Irish. And then Nancy and Paul are American. So you have a great Irish accent, Nancy? Um, can, I, can we hear I, a little I, bit of that? Very good. <laughs> so she's very good? Very good accent. Most Thank people you, can't dear. tell. They Thank can't you. tell you're American. No, so. it's lovely. <laughs> we, go to, we, we go to parties sometimes and people say, well, so where are you from in Ireland? And I consider that to be the ultimate um, compliment. compliment. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. And it's delightful to be asked to be part of this tour. I mean, it's, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. This is, the, the island actually does exist. Yeah. <laughs> right? It Not is only not does it exist, that's our final stop. Yeah. Um, the play has never been done there. And um, after we leave this festival, we go back to Galway and mm -hmm. play for a week. Yeah. And then go to the island um, to do the play about <laughs> the people, the people who live there. Man who exactly. There. And then so, they'll be yeah. watching us watch a clip of the movie, The Man of Aaron, about which the play 
um, you know, revolves. It's, yeah. it's <laughs> That's going to be exciting yeah. for you, though, too, Absolutely. to bring the play home, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but like I mean we did two weeks in Dublin which was interesting enough that was early on in the tour but most of the tour has been in America so then to finish in Galway and then on Inishman is really special and we also have the President of Ireland visiting to see the show on Inishman which is really an honour it so really is we hope to shake her hand and say hello <laughs> well it's an honour for us to have the play here and tell, so is it what an hour an hour and a half Two hours, maybe? It's about two and a half hours, including the interval. Yeah, I'd say. including the interval. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's yeah. a good standard. Long term. Yeah. Standard, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful theatre where you where you're performing. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's one of my favourite venues already. Um, after the opening night and and last night, um, so basically it's about I think 600 capacity at, at its maximum, but it feels really intimate, and that's what's lovely about it. You know, I feel like the audience can see a lot of detail, and they feel really close to us. So that's nice. And then we still have the weekend. Yes, there'll be, um, there's a Fridays, performance tonight, Friday, Friday night, night, two on Saturday, three and eight, and a three o'clock matinee on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And of course, uh, we have all the uh, information right there on the screen. So be sure to come out and watch the Cripple of Inishman performances, again, this all, entire weekend at the University Theatre. Address is 222 York Street. And the tickets can be purchased online at artidea.org or by phone at this toll-free number, 888-736-2663. Have you enjoyed your stay so far here? Absolutely. I hope you guys get to get out and really enjoy the city, because I think you'll enjoy it. Ah, we're having a great yeah. time. Walk around. Absolutely. Plenty of great restaurants. Oh, we're finding them. Are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And coming up next, one of the really great restaurants in the area, Chef Billy Deleche from Pasta Cozy shares two of his favorite dessert recipes when Connecticut Style returns.